Spec Lord, there's Base Mage. I don't know that is. Uh, base Mage is uh, Arizona based. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, he's like, he's decently like high rated there. Yeah, gotcha. that's, like, that's like a region with like a Psyche, with Stroder, with a horse. So like, it's it's a strong region. Yeah. But in general, like he's, oh, well, he's just really good. Yeah. He, he's, he's, I know like all the big problem is that he has work a lot of times. So he can't come out to events and do well. But I feel like he'd be PR'd with Jigglypuff in this case. But we'll see. Okay. Not talking about him right now. We're gonna talk about Sweet Tea versus Razo. Razo going the Peach, not the Daisy. I respect it. I respect it. But just convicted. Going Pokemon trainer as well too. Sweet right. tea is. And here we go. Now Squirtle just trying to use his uh, speed and like small frame to just avoid all of the Peach aerials. You know, Peach can't uh, use her dare in neutral. Oh, that was really good there. Yeah. That turn up stuff, just, just stuffing that with Merle, just straight up. Ooh, oh, I like, up. I like that. Yeah, mix up. Oh, I'll, but unfortunately that uh, take counter, a lot of damage here. Yeah. Not as much as I, I think he would have taken for whiffing, for whiffing a, a counter, but and that just auto cancel. I have never seen the auto cancel before like that. I guess that was just the right height for it to do that. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that that's each side be there, and there's nurse in action. <laughs> and yet again, you see like, eh, if the first one doesn't succeed, let me try again because like you're gonna, you're gonna try to do something on ledge. It's, it's it's actually just really hard to, to stuff Ivy on ledge just because that drop down bind whip. Right. It's such a good option. Oh, but unfortunately, you know, Razo prepared for whatever uh, aerial that Charizard was going to throw out. Ooh, gets a quick nair. I like that using the the the. Oh, almost. Yeah, I like that using the the water gun to like kind of uh, throw Razo into the air and off stage further. Tweet to getting a bit too hasty off the ledger though. He probably should just like hit it back just a bit. Oh, and he was get super. Get a bit hasty as well too on that kill. Yeah. If that up be by a lot honestly. Good landing with the flamethrower, and you know I feel like at this point he needs to look for a grab. Like if he had just uh, waited for a grab right there, he probably would have gotten it. That jab three is more powerful than I thought it would be. Uh, almost getting that back here though, just barely missed, and this should do it. Oh yeah, even, even, totally even, I thought it. he was gonna get the platform, but real close. I mean he was at like 140 with uh, with like 100 percent rate. That was totally gonna kill. As will that fair. He just smacks Squirtle into the air and off stage. Yeah, I, honestly, like I don't think Squirtle seems too good in this matchup in general. I mean, being real, Ivysaur is definitely definitely the play. Charizard as well too. Charizard, I think, I think the biggest thing of Charizard is Charizard's really good against here to stay a lot more aerial, and Peach is very much that. I it's feel like Charizard would be too out. slow and too big to like deal with Peach though. Charizard's not too slow. He's, he has a, I think he's the fastest run speed of all the all the Pokemon trade characters. I could be wrong though, but he does run pretty fast. See, that's good right there. And here again, you see Sweet Tea just trying to like find the one area or the one confirm. Maybe? Wow, wow, yeah. And like you said, it's like, ah, Squirrel's not been working in this matchup. Let me go to Ivysaur immediately. Yeah, when it, honestly, whenever like Sweet Tea is, is in Squirtle, like just Browser keeps stuffing them and just apparently doing stuff to him. <laughs> Ivysaur in general, Ivysaur and Charizard have working out a lot there, but he hasn't really been as much Charizard except for that last talk there. Oh, almost. Yeah, but he'll make it back. Uh, what was that? That was Nair. That was Nair? Yeah. Oh my god. I saw the little speed lines there. The neutral air. I just saw Peach like strike a pose in midair. I was like, what, what did she do? Like wink at him and he died? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was a kill move. Like everything in Peach's aerial kick kills. Except for up air. Except for a down air. Oh, oh yeah, down air. But it combos into a kill. It combos into a kill, yeah. See the Pokemon trainer, I like it. Yeah. Ooh, blue. No one ever uses the blue Daisy. That's that's the one. That's my that's why I like. It's, it looks so good. Uh, debatable. <laughs> Debatable. It's all I personal would, preference. I know. After all, I, qu I question your your taste. It's just, just a little I just bit. like the blue. I just like blue in general. I mean, yeah, blue blue is a solid color. I just don't think it looks good on Daisy. Yeah, personal preference though. Yeah. But it's all good. See if it, see if Sweet Team you get a lot more a lot better burst options at the beginning of this game right here. All right. So He's actually able to get a, a grab with Squirtle and you know, capitalize on uh, aerials with it. 
Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, probably yeah. switch to diving pretty soon. Right. Got a little bit hasty, more hasty off stage, so he actually got punished for that. Oh. But that was an amazing spike. Dude, Sweet Tea just called good. him out on that. Be like, ha ha ha, you whiffed, you fool. <laughs> but yeah. Yoink, I'll just take that free stock, thank you. Oh, I like what he was trying to do there. He was trying to nair out of shield just to punish the landing option. But unfortunately, the jab just coming out just in time to break through that. That's going to be big damage. Or not as much as I thought it'd be. I don't think I've seen any sort of jab until now. <laughs> Ooh, no, Raza waiting out the spot dodge right there. For a bit of a hard read there that, with that, that forward air. It didn't seem true at all, yeah. that half down throw. Ooh. Oh, but that was that was sick. Oh my god, that, that was a good call out on uh, Raza's part right there. Because he knew he was like, okay, he's probably going to end uh, side B, or I'm sorry, sorry, neutral B right here. So I'm going to side B right over it when he tries to jump. Ooh. Oh, I would the like wow. bathroom made a better decision in that, in that situation there. Raza yeah. was shielding for a while from where he was. And yet again, here's Charizard. Big BT claws right here. Now, can he find those claws and uh, sink it to that stock for the kill? Doesn't need to. Just about to score it Just, I guess probably just as an intermediate way to get back to that Looks like that's yeah. right. Yeah, I feel like a, a, an up air or a down air is all he needs at this point. And again, Raza's just like, okay, I lost that first stock super early, so I'm going to play this super carefully. Oh. But it doesn't matter how careful. Yeah, doesn't matter how carefully I play if I get grabbed. That was a back throw, actually pretty powerful. And Drayla Pokemon Train, all uh, Pokemon Train's Pokemon have just very powerful back throws. Right. Oh, nice is that bullet scene. Right. It's not really too as horrible range, but like if you can get it, it does a lot of damage, just like that. It's not the best move, but like it's it does something. And what what it, what it does, it's a fat to that sometimes. Right. Oh, but oh, that was good. Yeah. I think that was, might have been a stitch actually. That was a dot. Dot eyes? Okay. Those, those are dot eyes. Yeah. yeah, I think stitch might have a different side effect. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah. He needs to get off that Squirtle. That's yeah. not working too well. It's not, really not working out too well for him, to be honest. And yet again, no, he's just using his speed to kind of just like outspace Razo in the moment. Ooh, I like that cross up on shield, you know, kind of forcing Razo to like with a grab. Ooh, using the fair to kind of catch the turnip as well. And here's the dare, but not oh. going to be able to get to his Ivysaur in time. That was pretty smart there. All right. But and the up B will catch his landing. and That was a really good catch there. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's one of those situations where like I'll throw out the up B. If it hits, it kills, and I, I win. If it doesn't, he's all the way over there. He's not going to punish me for it. You know? Mm -hmm. And now to game three. You know what? I feel like the only reason why it was even like that close was he got that super early stock on that first oh, stock. Oh, yeah. That was super good. So I feel like as long as Razo kind of just like doesn't let that happen again, it, it should be all good. We'll see, though. We'll see. The, both players are still are very, very good. Yeah. Razo on the Reagan's being better, but that doesn't mean, I don't know, doesn't mean the skill's better. They could, they could go back and forth, who knows? Right. It's been really good so far, at least. I mean, you see Razo just staring at the screen, being like, okay, where do I want to take P Trainer? You know? Honestly, it's hard because it's not just one character you have to worry about, it's three. So you have to think about which stage would benefit all three in each situation. I think Kalos person might be the best bet because it's a big open area, and in general, like, Pokemon Trainer likes platforms mm -hmm. or anything else, and. That FD probably be a, be a best choice here. Peach right. like just Peach in general like loves just wide open spaces, so right. we'll see. Looks right. like might be Kalos hovering over it right now. Yeah. Yep. Looks like he is going, and you, you can tell like he was like trying to confirm like, okay, are you going, are you are you, are you gonna let me go here or not? All right, so here we go. Game number three. Let's check it out. I really think the biggest thing though that, that the sweet tea should do is just like not stick on not stick on the squirrel too much. Right. It was working out a bit towards the end of the last game, because it worked out for a good set of, of Ivysaur, but I mean if you can get like a quick like fifty percent with Squirtle, then like switch on to Ivysaur, I feel like that would be good. But you know what, if you can't play that neutral, then just switch to Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Rest of down there. 
Not too good there. Raza's really just taking control of this game right now, but just one quick down throw will bring it all the way back. Uh, and here's the turnip off stage, and not going to be able to quite find it, but he does find that turnip. And I like that, switching to Charizard to kind of like mix up the timing of this recovery. Charizard, I think, is honestly pretty underrated. Oh my oh, goodness. He was he was praying As that he I was say old, that. Yeah, he was praying he was going to hold shield. Actually, oh, oh it's no. not. Barely drifted to the ledge of time. I thought that was a bit too far away. That was perfect. Yeah, I was just saying, Charizard's pretty underrated, I'd say, because Charizard actually has a lot of kill power. And that back air kind of goes in like a J motion when, when, when it comes out, which might catch a lot of people off guard. Like, for instance, right now, if you get just Razo in the air at all, on your, on your, on your ledge, like, back is in, it's, it's done. Like, super early. But I mean, like, he has, has to clean out the stock right now, so I don't think Squirtle's the right choice. Yeah, I'd be like Ivysaur or Charizard. Definitely those two. Ooh. Oh, so close. He's just if a he little fastball, bit. That, that was perfect. Yeah. Oh, not going to punish the, the side B landing. Not getting baited by, by the owl cancel there. Right. Rods has done that a lot this set, but it's worked out most of the time. Here we go. No, off the switch to Charizard and gets oh, the up super armor. Up yeah. Absolutely perfect. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. okay. He's trying. Okay. I'm like, come on out here. I'm baiting you to go out here. Let, let's have a, 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 a trip down memory lane, shall we? Not this time. <laughs> yeah, Rosso just like, I, I see the bait. I see the bait. I'm going back to stage. Like, you, you, you can be over there. Ooh, you know, up these uh, swinging above on the platform. Kind of catching Razo off guard right there. I swear up air probably covers like the entire platform on this stage. Target. Ooh, he read oh, the roll the in, but not gonna uh, uh, charge up smash long enough. You know, there's, a, there's a few moves that I, I rarely ever see Ivysaur ever use, and up smash is definitely one of them. I mean, any smash attack aside from the uh, forward smash is like this is true. Like maybe down smash if you want to like hard read a, a roll, but oh, that I was mean, a really good series of events right there. Yeah. Sweet so sniping, like just calling out Rouse's side B back on the stage, yeah. and then just sniping, sniping with the up B. That's perfect. Yeah. Sweet T's all of a sudden takes control of this game. He's looking pretty good right now. Right. He's got a lot of momentum, and currently just, 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 just doing the thing. <laughs> I mean, the, that, that's the scary thing is that when like you get conditioned to up air and like you drift away to avoid it, then like he's like, ha ha ha, I have this quick move, and he just waxy with the vine whip instead. Ooh, quick awesome. there, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll think to go for the, the up air that time. Kind of try to recondition that, be like, okay, I'm going to go for up air so that the one time I do need it to kill, like, Ooh. it will kill. Rosalind cannot find a skill right now as well, speaking of which. Dash deck barely not killing, good DI on Sweet T's part. Probably have to switch to Charizard right here all right. pretty soon, gets a percent and all that. Ooh. Oh, it was close. Yeah, not quite enough damage to break the shield. And you could just there see, you yeah, you saw Sweet TV like, okay, that was super close to breaking my shield. I'm going to run away and avoid all that. But Ooh, back, back here, here across yeah. the stage, just not taking it. Wow. Sweet TV can, can snipe this, though. Oh, and there's free grab, free grab. He's going to go for a back air right here. Ah, oh, not going to find it, unfortunately. He oh wanted to go goodness. for up B, but unfortunately, the grab traded with it. Oh, I didn't know what hit, I know what hit there. <laughs> oh, Very my nice God. Not going to take it? No, not yet, not yet. The, no, Raza has better DI Super than that. Close. Yeah. There oh, we go. There we go. Yeah. Punch a bit, a bit more careful there. Switch away from the squirrel, please. Don't, don't do this right now. Oh, it works. Never mind. <laughs> you were saying? I was saying words, and they were wrong. <laughs> I hate how that move traded because Squirtle was at twelve percent, meaning that like this, 